Hey guys, I'm back with part 11 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. Here is this one, I'm going to be doing half of the interior furnishings for the first floor of the house. I'm going to start here as a dining room, so be sure to grab some smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz slabs, light gray banner, iron door, anvil, some jungle leaves, chiseled quartz blocks, iron trap door, light gray wool, brown wool, and gray wool and then some end rods and white stained glass panes. So I'm gonna start with the anvils and the jungle leaves and just place some bushes in each corner of this room. So I have an anvil in each corner on this side and then over here. And then on top of those, I'm just going to have three jungle leaves. So just like that. So now be sure to grab the light gray wool, the brown wool, and the gray wool. I'm just going to start with the light gray, and I'm going to go right next to this bush here from the corner of it. So starting here, I'm going to carve out three spaces, and then bring it over by a total of seven, so we already have the one here. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right on the corner of where that anvil is, and then we're one space away from that wall. I'll go ahead and continue deleting the rest of this. So now we have this rectangle that is 3 blocks wide and 7 blocks in length. I'm going to fill this in with the blocks of the light gray wool. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another row right next to that. Which will then be filled in with some brown wool. And then another row right here with the gray wool. So now this is pretty much just going to act as a rug that's right underneath the dining room table. So now make sure you have your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're going to line up right down the middle of this rug. We want to make sure we're on top of this block of the light gray. So we left two spaces here at the edge. We'll fill in a total of five blocks of the smooth quartz, so it's just right down the center of this rug. And then around the edge of those, we're just going to have smooth quartz stairs upside down. And then go ahead and grab the smooth quartz slabs. We're going to start placing the dining room chairs, so we'll have one on each end. And then we're going to have a total of three on the sides. Behind each one of those slabs, we're going to have an iron door. And we're not going to be able to add any signs that I would normally have on the side of the slabs to look like an armrest. Because these slabs are just too close together, so we can't have like a sign there and a sign there. So we're just going to leave it as it is. The final touch will just be the light gray banners. So we're just going to crouch and place these up against the iron doors. So there we go. We still have to add all the decorations. But now let's look over here at this wall. We're going to have a cutout. So make sure you have your full blocks of the smooth quartz. And we're just going to be pretty much right up against this bush here. So we're leaving a space of the wall. So we're going to be on the second block. We'll just delete a strip going all the way up until you meet up with the crown molding. We'll skip over these two spaces and then delete another strip here. So we're then left with a space of the wall right next to the door frame. Let's fill this in with these full blocks of the smooth quartz. And then let's go ahead and delete all of the other space in between these. Here at the top, I'm just going to have two smooth quartz stairs upside down. And then underneath that, I'm going to have them sideways. So it looks like a little arch. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to have two smooth quartz stairs facing up. And then on top of that, upside down. And then all this other space that we see here, we're going to use the chiseled quartz blocks and just fill it in. So a total of six blocks like that. So that's all I'm gonna do here for this cutout. We will have some decorations on this shelf. So now let's look at the dining room table again and grab the white stained glass panes, the end rods. We'll also need these iron trap doors and we're gonna have some hanging lights right above the dining room table. So I'm just gonna have two, so maybe one right here. So I'll look straight up, have an end rod and then 
two white stained glass panes underneath that, another end rod, and then an iron trap door. And then I'm going to flip around this end rod so this end looks like it's connected to the trap door like that. I'll look right here, look straight up, and have another hanging light. Now let's grab all the other decorations. So let's just move all this out of the way. Be sure to grab an item frame, a flower pot, and then let's grab a few flowers. I'm also gonna go ahead and grab one of the skeleton skulls, and then a bunch of food items that we could have within the item frames. And then I'm also going to grab a cake. So we'll start with the flower pots and just have these right underneath the hanging lights. Add a couple flowers into those. Let's look at the shelf over here. We'll just have maybe the skeleton skull, another flower pot with the blue orchid is fine. Look back over here. We're going to have an item frame in front of each one of the chairs. And then I'll go ahead and place all the food items within those. And then I'm going to grab the cake and have it maybe just right around there is good. So we'll leave it at that for the dining room table. And then that is actually everything here for the dining room. Let's head on to the kitchen next. I gathered up most of the blocks we're going to be using here for the kitchen. So be sure to grab some smooth quartz, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, quartz bricks, birch trap doors, hopper, furnace, campfire, and rod, spruce pressure plate, Sea lantern, iron trap door, lever, birch button, white stained glass panes, and a bucket of water. So we're gonna shape out the fridge right here first, right up against this wall. So I have two full blocks of the smooth quartz at the bottom, two going up at the right, one at the top. This empty space here would be an upside down smooth quartz stair, and then two slabs on top of that. Switch back to your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll have three. We'll skip over these spaces. Right here, we'll have an upside down smooth quartz stair, a full block in the corner, and another stair. Where these two spaces we skipped over, we're going to have a hopper. So just two like that. And then over here, next to the stair, switch back to your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll have two. And then we'll go ahead and grab the campfires. Delete these two blocks of the quartz. We'll place two campfires there, and then cover it up with the furnaces. And then back to the full blocks of the smooth quartz, so we're going to have four to the right of that. So these are the ovens, we have the sinks here, and then the fridge. Switch to your birch trap doors. We'll have three right there in front of those full blocks, another two here, and then four on this side. Switch back to your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We're going to skip over a space from where these counters are and have a total of six here next to the fridge. And then some slabs on top of that. And then back to the full blocks. We're going to have four right here. Once again with some slabs on top. And then we'll look over here, skip over that space, have another two, and then another slab. So those are all cabinets. Let's go ahead and cover up all those full blocks with the birch trap doors. Now let's mark out where the oven hood's gonna be. So go up here where the crown molding is and delete these two stairs and replace it with full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll delete these two slabs, replace that with two upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then right underneath these full blocks, we'll have another set of two stairs. Underneath that, we're going to have two more stairs, but facing up instead of upside down. And then you could grab the sea lanterns and the iron trap doors. We'll go ahead and switch to these sea lanterns and have two right underneath those stairs. We'll go ahead and cover those up at the bottom with the iron trap doors. Go ahead and switch to your smooth quartz stairs. We'll have one on each side of the sea lanterns, just facing up like that. 
in each corner we're going to have a slab and then underneath another layer of slabs so now we marked out the oven hood here now let's switch back to the birch trap doors we have to make sure to crouch and place these in front of the hoppers and then grab the lever the birch button and the water buckets we'll go ahead and crouch again fill in these hoppers with water and then we'll have the levers right here pointing towards the hoppers so those look like the faucet and then you could grab the birch button and place it right around there so it looks like a bar of soap switch to the spruce pressure plate and place it maybe right around here so that is now a cutting board and then let's go ahead and replace all this chiseled quartz and some of this white concrete with the quartz bricks so we'll delete these three blocks here replace that with the quartz bricks we have these two spaces the one space right there and then we have a total of eight here where the oven hood is and then one more right there i'm also going to replace this block since you can still see it and oh yeah you know what this one too and then this one and that one so now it just looks like there's two layers everywhere even though those are still just behind the cabinets i think it looks better having that extra block so that is pretty much just like the backsplash so just some tile behind all of the counter space so now i'm gonna mark out where the island will be we're also going to have a cutout in the wall right here and then we gotta add all of the extra decorations so you can start with your full blocks of the smooth quartz make sure you're lined up here at the left side of this furnace we'll skip over two spaces away from it so we're on this third block we'll place one right there and then another one and then to the right two more rows like that so it's a total of six and then go ahead and switch to your smooth quartz stairs we're going to have two side by side like that we'll do the same over here and then we're going to have a bunch upside down along this side and then continue with the stairs we're going to mark out where the high chairs will be so you can place a stair like that and then another one in the other direction on top so now these look like high chairs go ahead and grab these birch trap doors and place them on this side so now it looks like we have some extra storage here now let's mark out the hanging lights right above the island so make sure you have the end rods the iron trap doors and the white stained glass panes we'll just look right here down the middle we'll look straight up we'll have two white stained glass panes going down with an end rod and the iron trap door and then we'll line up over here at the edge of the island we'll do the same thing so the two white stained glass panes end rod and iron trap door and then lined up right here as well and then we'll stand on top of these trap doors we'll crouch and flip around these end rods so now we have all of those marked out let's look over here at this right side where this part of the wall is we're gonna have a cutout so you could just delete a strip going all the way up like that switch to your smooth quartz stairs we're going to have one facing up at the bottom and then upside down and then here at the top we're going to have an upside down one one facing up and then upside down you could go ahead and grab these chiseled quartz blocks fill in that space there at the back and then we're just gonna have a flower pot with a flower right there as a little decoration let's go ahead and actually make some adjustments to the window sills here so grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz so it looks like the counter space extends out to there we'll go ahead and do the same here and then we're going to have to replace these levers after we replace these full blocks so we'll fill that in and then let's go ahead and have the levers again so there we go we replaced all that and now i think all that's left are just all of the decorations so let me just go ahead and clear everything and then you could grab the item frame we'll also need the flower pot and then let's grab a couple flowers so i'll do the lily of the valley maybe the corn flower and the blue orchid so let's go ahead and place the item frames in front of these high chairs we'll have a flower pot maybe just right down the middle 
We'll just have the Lily of the Valley. I'll have another flower pot here with maybe the blue orchid. And then one more here with just the cornflower is fine. And then let's go ahead and fill in these item frames. So I'll just clear all of that. And we'll just grab a couple food items. You know what? Let's maybe just grab the ones we have over here. So how about these here? And we'll fill that in. So now that is everything for the kitchen. And then we have the dining room. So now we're going to head on into here. I'll just maybe have a small table in this hallway. And then we have to do this bathroom. This bedroom. And this bathroom. And then we'll probably just leave it at that here for part 11. So let's go ahead and do the small table here in this hallway. So grab the smooth quartz stairs. We'll just have maybe two side by side upside down in front of that window. On top of it, so we'll grab this flower pot. And then the skeleton skull, maybe the wither one. So we'll just have it right there, then the flower pot. And then you could grab just, I'll go ahead and use the fern. Like that. And before I forget, I'm actually going to go within each one of these doorways that are three blocks thick and add a flower pot with a fern just like that throughout all of them so we have this doorway here and then over here where the kitchen is and then we have this one and i think that is actually all of the doorways that are three blocks thick so i just wanted to add those flower pots just to add a little bit more to them i think that looks good so now let's head back through We'll go ahead and just carve out a space right there. We'll fill it in with the sea lanterns. And then I'll just grab maybe some light gray carpet and cover those up. So we'll just leave it at that here for this hallway. I'm thinking, I guess I'll go ahead and just bring this over like that. And then I'll just have those two spaces of the light gray and then everywhere else I'll have gray. Maybe I could just have light gray on that side and then gray there. So I'll leave it at that here for this hallway. Let's head on into this bathroom. So I'm just going to grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. Then the smooth quartz stairs. And smooth quartz slabs. So I'll look at this back wall where the window is. Make sure you have your smooth quartz stairs. And we'll just curve a total of eight together to form the bathtub. On each side, we'll have full blocks of the smooth quartz. And then we'll look over here and extend some blocks like that, leaving a space in the middle so this will be where the sink is. Over here, we'll have a full block, an upside down smooth quartz stair in front of that, and then a slab to top it off. So that is the toilet, we have the bathtub, and the sink. Now, let's grab the hopper, the lever, and then we'll also need the birch button. We also need the birch trap doors, the white stained glass panes, the tripwire hooks, and then a bucket of water. We also need the stone button, and then the weighted pressure plate, and we'll leave it at that for now. So let's fill in the bathtub with the buckets of water. This empty space here will have the hopper, and then we have to crouch, place a trap door in front of it, and then trap doors on the sides of those full blocks of quartz. Then we have to crouch again, fill that hopper in with the water, have a lever pointing down towards it so it looks like the faucet, and then grab the trip bar hook. You can maybe just have it right there so it looks like the faucet leading into the bathtub. And then grab the birch button, we'll maybe have it right there to look like a bar of soap. And then for the toilet, we have to have the weighted pressure plate on top of that stair with the stone button on the left of the full block. So now let's clear all of that. Let's grab the white banner. And these will look like towels. So I have maybe just one on each side of the bathtub and then another one right there for the sink. And then let's grab a flower pot. We'll just have it right there. Maybe another one over on that side. And then we'll just grab a couple flowers. So I guess that one and that one is fine. And then I'm just going to have a lantern right here, just in case if we still need the extra light source. And then I'll just leave it at that here for this bathroom. So that is good enough. We'll head on out. And now we're going to finish off with this bedroom and bathroom. 
I guess we'll start with the bathroom first. Since we just did that one over there, we'll go ahead and just head on into this one. So I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using in here, so be sure to grab the smooth quartz blocks, the smooth quartz slabs, and smooth quartz stairs, pillar quartz block, iron trap door, sea lantern, white stained glass panes, trip row hook, painting, lever, birch button, hopper, water bucket, birch trap door, weighted pressure plate, stone button, a cyan carpet and light blue carpet, then the lantern and the flower pot. So we'll start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz and look over here at the left. We'll fill in a space there, leave this one empty, and fill in three. So the sink will be right there. Let's look right here, so we have this window. We're going to leave a space here, so we're lined up with this second space. We'll have a full block, the slab, and the upside down stair. So that'll be the toilet. And then we're going to have a shower right here. So we have to carve out a 3x3 three three hole right here on the floor. Go ahead and continue with these smooth quartz stairs. And just have a step down right here, up against those floors. Like that, so we're left with four spaces. Grab these slabs. We'll just have these up against all of the stairs, leaving just an empty space here. Which we'll then fill in with a sea lantern. Yeah, right there. And then we have to grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, replace these floors that we have here. So just that strip, replace it with the full blocks. And then we have to go around the side of the lantern here, the sea lantern, and just fill it all in like that. And then grab the iron trap door, place it maybe just right around there. So now this looks like a drain, but we still have a nice light source here. So it's like that. Let's go ahead and replace the walls here where the shower is. So we're just going to be using a crisscross pattern with the pillar quartz block. So we'll delete a strip lined up with these stairs until we just have maybe one space remaining. We'll do the same here. So I deleted five in height. And then we'll delete these other two sections. And then we could just leave the corner as it is since that'll be covered up anyway. So I'll just go right up against these blocks. We could just maybe start out with the sideways one, and then one facing up, then sideways, up, and sideways. So just back and forth like that. And then we'll have another sideways one lined up with the upward one, and then upward ones lined up with the sideways ones. So just like that. So I'm gonna continue doing that for the rest of the space. And then once you meet up right here, you can see if we were to have that sideways, these are both side by side. So we have to make sure to start out with an upward one there if that one is sideways. And then just continue along. And now we have all of that filled in for the shower. Grab the white stained glass panes. We'll look over here at the left, lined up at the edge of it. We'll bring it up by maybe just four like that. You know what? I guess we'll do an entire five. And then we'll do another row next to it. And then we'll have a row right here. And then let's grab the trip bar hook. I'll maybe just have it right there so that looks like the faucet. And then grab the lever. Put it right around there so it looks like it's pointing down. So that'll be the shower head. We'll look at this space. We'll delete these four blocks here. Grab the smooth quartz slabs, place them like that so it looks like a shelf. And then on top of it, we'll have a birch button so it looks like a bar of soap. So we'll leave it at that for the shower. Let's look right next to it where this wall is. Delete all of this space right here. Grab the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have two upside down here at the bottom. Another two right there, leaving a space in between them. And then another two there at the top. And then I'm just going to grab the lantern. Maybe place one right there. And there for a nice light source. And then all these other spaces will fill in with a flower pot. Which will eventually fill in with a couple flowers. But all of this space here is now done. Let's focus on the toilet. So let's grab the stone button. And the weighted pressure plate. And just add the detail on that. Look over here where the counter space is. Grab the hopper. We'll need the bucket of water. The birch trap doors. 
And then we'll need this lever and then the birch button. So let's place the hopper. Let's crouch. Place a trapdoor in front of that. And then all of these other full blocks will be trapdoors. Crouch again. Fill it in with the bucket of water. Have the lever pointing down towards it. We'll replace these blocks here with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. Grab the birch button, place it right there to look like a bar of soap. And now I think that is everything we just used. So now let's maybe just have a flower pot and a lantern. So maybe a lantern there, flower pot right there. And then we'll also end up deleting that, replacing it with a sea lantern. And then we'll cover it up with the painting. So we have to do something like this. So we just have a small painting there and that is good. And then let's just use the smooth quartz slabs. Look over here and have them right around there so it looks like a shelf right above our sink. And then we'll have another flower pot on top of that. So now let's grab a bunch of flowers. You know what? Let's also be sure to grab the white banner. We'll have it right around there so it looks like a towel. And then another one there. So now let's go ahead and I guess we could just clear all of this. Oh wait, I almost forgot. We need these sea lanterns. We'll have maybe a space of six right there in front of the toilet. And then we'll have maybe some cyan carpet and then the rest of it light blue. So just a little carpet like that. So now let's go ahead and clear everything. And then let's grab some flowers to fill in all the flower pots. So I guess I'll just have maybe that one there, then that one. What the heck? I cannot fill it in. I can't see the flower for some reason. Here, let me grab this. And then delete that. Replace it. There we go. That was weird. All right. And then let's look over here. Which ones haven't we used? We haven't used that one. And this one here. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. So I think this looks good. We'll head on out. And the final room we're going to do in this video is this bedroom. So I gathered up a few of the blocks we're going to be using here for this room. So be sure to grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, the smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz stairs, cyan concrete, light blue concrete, and some snow. So I'm going to start with the smooth quartz stairs. Look over here at this part of the wall. Just have two side by side like that. So this will be a nice stand on this side of the bed. Grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll place five next to that. And then another two stairs side by side on this end. Go ahead and continue with the stairs. We're going to have one facing up on each side. Or like on each end of those full blocks right there. We'll have three upside down in the middle. And then three slabs on top of that. Grab the light blue concrete. We're going to have two rows. And then a row of the cyan. And then another row of the light blue. So they're all three blocks wide. Grab the smooth quartz slabs. We're going to have these just wrapping around the edge of the bed. And then grab the snow. These are going to be used as pillows. But if your snow melts, feel free to replace this with some white carpet. Let's look over here where this window is. Grab the smooth quartz stairs. We can maybe just have one right there on its side. And then a slab there. And then a stair. And another stair wrapping around the edge of that. So this will be a desk. And then we'll look over here on this wall. We're just going to have some cutouts. So we'll leave one space away from the edge of the doorway. We'll carve out three. We'll skip over one. Carve out another three. So then we're left with one here. We'll bring this up until we are left with one space of the wall at the top. So it'll be like that. Do the same here. And then you can see we have a little bit of white concrete here. We'll go ahead and replace that with some light gray concrete. All this other space here will be covered up with these smooth quartz stairs. So we're just going to have three facing up and then three upside down on top of that. And then at the top, we're going to have two stairs side by side with a slab in the middle. So it looks like a little arch. We'll do the same here. So now those cutouts in the wall are done. We'll look over here. We're going to have a couch. 
So we'll switch to the light blue concrete and we'll just go in between these corners here and fill in a strip like that. And then we'll just wrap around the corner like that. So an extra three. And then we'll grab these smooth quartz slabs and just fill all this space in like that. We'll skip over a space and have another four. So that's a small table. So now we have the couch and a little table here marked out. So now all we really have left to do are the extra decorations. So I'll just pretty much clear all of that. And let's go ahead and actually mark out the chair right here for the desk. So we will actually need the smooth quartz slab again. And then the iron door. We'll grab some birch signs. And then some light blue banners. So we'll have a slab right there. Then the iron door. We'll have some birch banners on the side of the slabs. So it looks like an armrest. And then we'll crouch and have the light blue banner in front of that door. Let's go ahead and do the nightstands. So we'll clear all of that. We'll just use the light blue concrete again. And then we'll also need a couple end rods. So I have these on the end of each nightstand. And then we'll top that off with a light blue concrete block. So those look like lamps. We'll go ahead and clear that. Let's grab the flower pot. And then maybe just a couple blue orchids. So we'll have a couple flowers here. That is good. Let's look over here on the cutouts. I'll just go ahead and maybe have a flower pot right down the middle on each side. And then I'll grab the lanterns. Have these on each end. And then the other space will just have the wither and regular skeleton skulls. So just like that. And then the flower pots, you could just grab whichever flowers you want. I'm actually just going to fill them both in with some ferns. Just like that. And then we'll head back over here. Let's grab the sea lantern and the painting. We'll go ahead and maybe just carve out two spaces here. Fill that in with sea lanterns and then have a painting like that. We'll look over here at this wall. We'll carve out four spaces. Fill those in with sea lanterns. And have a painting just like that. I actually like that one because it matches the rest of the room. And then let's go ahead and decorate the desk. So I'll clear all of that again. I'm going to go ahead and use the spruce trap door. It'll be on top of this white concrete that we have here. And we'll flip it up like that. So this is the start of a laptop. Let's go ahead and grab the painting again. We have to crouch. Place that on the trap door. So that'll be the laptop screen. And then we'll grab a stone button and stone pressure plate. So I have the pressure plate there with the stone button. So now this looks like a keyboard and mouse. And then maybe just right here at the end of the desk, I'll go ahead and have another flower pot. And I'll use... How about the Lily of the Valley? Whoops, not right there. Oh, uh, right there. Let's go ahead and carve out three spaces here. Is that... That went straight through. Did I accidentally delete too many blocks? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, whoops. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab these sea lanterns. We'll fill that in. And then I'll go ahead and grab the painting. I'm just going to have three small paintings right above the bed here. Like that. And then there's just one more thing I want to do, and that is a carpet right here up against the bed and the floor. So make sure to have your sea lanterns still. And then some light blue carpet and cyan carpet. So we'll grab the sea lanterns. We'll carve out an L shape kind of just like that. We'll extend this out to right around there. We'll fill this in. So this will be our main light source here for this room. And then with the light blue carpet, I'll go ahead and just start it here. Wrap it around and I actually want to place it on this wood. I wanted to make sure these sea lanterns weren't too close right here to where it melts the snow. So we just brought it over to there, but we'll extend the carpet like that. And then maybe a little shape like that. And then the rest of it will fill in with the cyan. Yeah, that's good. So now that is actually everything we are going to do here for this bedroom. And now I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that here for part 11. Okay, guys, that's going to be it here for part 11 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 12.